welcome back to my channel. Today we continue with chapter 4, Magnetic Field. So in this video, we are going to discuss subtopic 4.7, applications of motions of charged particle in a magnetic field and electric field. Okay, so the equations that we will use for this subtopic is, we have two concepts. The first one is Fb equals to Fe when uh, there is a magnetic field and electric field acting on the particle. Okay, so Fb is equal to QVB, Fe is the electrostatic force is equal to EQ. Okay, so after we cancel out, we found that our V is equal to E over B, electric field over magnetic field. Okay, so the second condition is when there is a, a moving particle moving in a uniform electric field. The second case is when uh, the moving charge particle is uh, moving in a uniform magnetic field. So it will experience a circular motion where Fb is equal to Fc. So you experience a centripetal force and this centripetal force is actually contributed by the magnetic force. Okay. So Fb equals to QVB and Fc equals to mv squared over R. Therefore, our radius of the circular path is equal to mv over QB. Okay. So let us look at example 13. Okay. So example 13. The figure shows that the uniform magnetic field directed into the paper, electrons enter the region of the magnetic field as shown. Okay, so initially, okay, uh, you don't refer to this diagram first because this diagram is actually involved uh, magnetic field B and also X, uh, uh, electric field. Okay, so you don't refer to this diagram first. Huh? Okay, so I will draw it here first. Where uh, initially we only have magnetic field. Okay, so this is our diagram where we only have the magnetic field okay so the b is actually uh, into the pitch okay so now an electron an electron is entering so this is my electron is entering the uh, magnetic field okay so they ask us to show the path of electron as they passing through the region of magnetic field and exit from the side of bc okay so just now bc this is our a so this is A, B, C, D. Okay, so we want to find uh, the path of electron where it will exit from side BC. Okay, label it as path A. Okay, also label the magnetic force on the figure. Okay, so now the velocity V of the electron is acting upward and B is into the page. Therefore, force actually it will add to the to the right, to the left acting to the left okay however because this is an electron so the force actually need to acting in opposite direction so the force f b is acting to the right okay because this is an uh, electron therefore it will move in a circular path okay and it will exit from side b c so this one i label as a okay next if the electron enter magnetic field with higher velocity shows the path of electron and label it as b okay so what happens when we increase the velocity so for this case it's actually apply the second concept uh, where fb equals to okay fb equals to fc okay so we need to use this concept fb equals to fc okay because uh, a charged particle moving in a uniform magnetic field it will experience a uh, a circular motion okay experience a centripetal force so fb equals to fc fb for the charge is qvb fc is mv squared over r therefore our r is equal to nv over qb okay so if you refer here actually our m still the same because we are using the same electron and same charge and also we are using the same magnetic field therefore our r is directly proportional to the velocity so when you increase the velocity the radius of the circular path will increase as well. Therefore, our new path for the electron, it will go in this direction. Okay, so I will use purple color. Okay, so this is part of electron when it increases the velocity. Okay, so meaning that it will have the greater radius. Okay, when you increase the velocity. Okay, so this is a case where it only involves magnetic field. Okay, next see. State two condition in which an electron in a magnetic field does not experience any magnetic force. Okay, so magnetic force equation F equals to QVB sine theta. 
Okay, so if let's say the electron does not experience any magnetic force, meaning that the first one is when the angle, okay, when theta is equal to zero degree or, or the charge is moving parallel to the magnetic field. Okay, so this is the first condition. Okay, the second condition is when V is equal to zero. Okay, meaning that the charge is at rest. Okay, so at that moment, our at that moment electron will not experience any magnetic force. Okay, so these are the two conditions for the charge particle. Okay, next. A uniform electric field. Now we add on electric field is applied across the region of ABCD in such way that the electron are now not deflected okay so mark on the figure the directions of the electric field okay now initially we only involve okay only involve magnetic field okay now we want to add on electric field into the uh, into the region of a b c d so how can we add that so that the electron not deflected okay so initially it already experienced okay it already experienced um, magnetic force that adding to the Okay, to the right so this is adding to the right and this is the magnetic force so in order to let the electron go out undeflected meaning that we need to we need another force okay that balance up the magnetic force okay so meaning that we need another force this force must add towards the left okay so this is our fe okay so if you want to let your electron attract to the left meaning that this side must be positive plate and CD must be negative plate okay so that it will balance up the magnetic force okay next derive an expression for the velocity of the electron B in terms of electric field and magnetic field okay so for just now the case is when we have magnetic field and also we have electric field okay in order to get the electron is moving undeflected or moving in a straight line meaning that our Fe must equal to Fb okay so that the electron is undeflected okay undeflected and it can move in a straight line okay so our Fb must equal to Fe where Fe is equal to Qe and Fb is Qvb so if you cancel off Q V is equal to E electric field over magnetic field Okay, so this is the expression for the velocity of the electron in electric field and also magnetic field. Okay. Okay, next we'll go to example 14. Well, example 14 here, the cross mark shows the directions of the ion, positive ion being enter the paper. Okay, so if let's say this is a positive, okay, this is a positive charge. Okay, so we know that our magnetic field is from north to south, north to south. So this is the directions of B okay so continue figure above shows a space which is applied magnetic field and electric field perpendicular to each other and positive ion beam with the speed v passing through the space in the directions perpendicular to both field okay write an equation to determine the force f on the charge q which move with the velocity v in the magnetic field b okay so we want to determine the equations okay that involve okay where well, for this case inside the magnetic field meaning that it experiences a magnetic force so the magnetic force for a moving charge in a uniform magnetic field is qvb sin theta okay okay next if the potential difference between x and y is 6 kilo volt and the charge is 1.6 exponent negative 19 coulomb Determine the force exacted on the ion due to the electric field produced between the x and y electron if the distance between the electron is 2 exponent negative 2. Okay, so for this case, we only want to find the electric field. Okay, electric field. So it only involves electric field. So for this case, our electric field F electrostatic force is equal to QE. Okay, where we don't have the value for E, we can use. Okay, we can use E equals to delta V over distance. Where delta V is 6 kilo, 
D is the distance, 2 exponent negative 2. Okay, e, we will get 3 exponent 5 volt per meter. Okay, so we substitute into the equations to find the electrostatic force where Q is equal to 1.6 exponent negative 19. E is 3 exponent 5. Therefore, we will get 4.8 exponent negative 14 Newton. Okay, next we go to C. If the magnetic field applied is 0 0.3 and the ion beam is not deflected, determine the speed of the ion. Okay, so when it's not deflected, meaning that our Fe must equal to Fb. Okay, so if you refer back here, okay, so when the positive charge is at uh, the, between the electric field and uh, magnetic field, it's actually experienced uh, electrostatic force and also magnetic force. Okay, well, so if you look at the magnetic force the page, first, where okay, it's into the page B, V, and then our magnetic field is to the left. Okay, so you use Fleming left hand rules where B is to the B is to the left, velocity is into the page, therefore FB it will acting upward. Okay, so it will acting upward FB. Okay, so if FB acting upward, meaning that uh, the electric field here, electrostatic force here, it must acting downward in order to balance up. Okay, so meaning that our plate Y here, because this is a positive, so it will attract to plate negative. And X is actually played positive. Okay, so here actually we must write here the electric field line here is actually the magnetic force here is actually it should acting downward. Okay, in order to balance up the magnetic force. Okay, so continue at here. Fe is equal to Fe is equal to EQ. Fb is equal to QVB. So if you cancel off Q. V is equal to E over B. Okay, where E we already found just now, 3 exponent 5. And B is given here, 0 0.3. Therefore, the speed of the ion is 1 exponent 6 meter per second. Okay, so this is the velocity for the ion. And this ion is undefected. Okay, how can it undefected? Meaning that our FB for positive charge, must equal to Fe, okay? So that our charge will move in a straight line undeflected, okay? So that's all for this subtopic, okay? We will continue with the new chapter, chapter 5, Electromagnetic Induction. See you on next video. Bye!